Dear clients, welcome to Philip Capital's Weekly Market Watch. My name is Wei Wen. Markets and macro are not out of the woods yet. Notwithstanding the re-election of President Obama, uncertainty over the looming fiscal cliff still persists, which could easily tip the fragile US economy into recession. Around US $600 billion worth of spending cuts and tax hikes are scheduled to take effect at the turn of the year if nothing is done to avert it. Nonetheless, the US economy is unlikely to be dealt with a full-blown fiscal cliff. While we expect some political gridlock amid partition tensions, President Obama and House Speaker Boehner have signaled last Friday a possible compromise on tax positions which could defuse the stalemate on the fiscal budget. US equity markets have been making lower highs and lower lows, with major indices such as the S&P 500, Dow Jones and Nasdaq trading below their respective 200-day moving average. Unless we see significant improvement on the macro front, as well as corporate earnings, which has thus far been lackluster, the downward bias in US equities is likely to prevail. Thus, we suggest clients to reduce positions on SPY, DIA, QQQ. These are ETFs that track the major US indices. Clients can also consider shots with tight stops on CFDs, tracking the major US indices if short-term technicals suggest a bearish view. While we are under with US equities, there are still attractive propositions within the US equity space. We like healthcare. Healthcare should receive a boost under the Obama administration, especially if the Affordable Care Act continues to be implemented. Furthermore, healthcare is a defensive sector with high growth potential and broad-based demand. We also like home builders in view of the firmer recovery in the housing market. Within the fixed income space, we are overweight mortgage-backed securities. The Fed is going to purchase this to the tune of US dollar 40 billion per month indefinitely till the economy rebounds, which on the Fed's definition is around 6% unemployment, which could take quite a while. We reiterate our main investment team which is long Asia and emerging market debt. For Asia bond ETFs, we recommend tickers N6M, N6L, O9P, which are listed on the SGX. For emerging market bond ETFs, we recommend EMB, LEMB, EMHY, which are listed on the AMAX. Global risk on or risk off, portfolios will have to explore beyond traditional safe havens, which yield too low to protect purchasing power and have doubtful credit ratings. Asia and emerging market nations, on the other hand, mostly have nominal GDPs, compounding faster than debt and higher yields to boot. And these are likely to increasingly feature as core fixed income holdings. That is all that we have for you today. Do stay tuned to next week's video. Thank you.